Hello, my name is Jakub Wiech, I'm a Polish journalist and energy analyst and I'm here to talk about Polish energy transition and the current state of uh, Polish energy system and, and Polish uh, way towards uh, climate neutrality and problems that Poland is facing in these fields. Well, first of all, we have to notice that Poland is a coal state. We generate up to 70% of our electricity from uh, coal-fired power plants, both uh, lignite and hard coal. And, uh, this situation has, of course, implications regarding our uh, CO2 emission, but this is the effect of long-term negligence made by several Polish government that uh, held power since uh, 1989. Uh, actually, when we look at the past 30 years, we see that uh, Poland has neglected uh, its um, energy transition, we actually have done nothing to change our energy system uh, in this uh, period. Uh, we have uh, omitted uh, the, uh, the uh, necessary steps uh, towards uh, building a low emission energy uh, systems. And uh, actually, quite recently, Poland uh, woke up from that, um, uh, from that uh, dream uh, of, uh, about coal and started to do something about um, its energy system. It happened in 2019 uh, during the negotiations uh, that were brought up by the European Union regarding European climate neutrality in the year uh, 2050. But late, before that, before the, the year 2019, uh, Poland was on the stance that uh, the main fuel for its economy will be coal for the next decades and there is nothing uh, to be worried about uh, in this matter and um, we can rely on our coal uh, sources for a very long time still. Uh, this shows that we have ignored um, the uh, many signals uh, coming from European Union, coming from uh, other organizations such, such as United Nations. And uh, right now, um, Poland has a new official document regarding energy transition. It is called uh, Polityka Energetyczna Polski do 2040 roku, which means uh, Polish energy policy towards uh, 2040. And uh, this new Polish energy transition um, uh, roadmap shows that in the next uh, 20 years, Poland will uh, invest a lot of money in uh, renewable capacities. Uh, first of all, uh, we are planning to build uh, 16 gigawatts of uh, photovoltaics uh, in the next uh, tw uh, 20, uh, 20 years. And uh, these plants are going pretty well, mostly thanks to the very effective uh, program, which is called uh, Muy Pront. It, it means uh, my electricity that um, granted relatively, uh, relatively uh, low uh, financial benefits to the people that were um, interested in um, invest investments uh, in photovoltaics. Uh, they, uh, this program granted them with uh, uh, financial benefit of uh, approximately uh, 1,200 euros. Um, this was the maximum, uh, maximum uh, level of that uh, benefit. Uh, and it um, uh, generated a lot of investments in Polish photovoltaics. We, uh, right now, uh, we do have um, over 5 gigawatts in our energy system um, just based on uh, photovoltaics um, capacities. It's uh, approximately 10% of all um, capacities that are installed in a uh, Polish energy system. The other uh, field of investments that is predicted in this um, po uh, Polish energy policy towards 2040 is uh, the investments in uh, offshore wind uh, sector. We are planning to have um, uh, 11 gigawatts in the next uh, 20 years in the Polish Baltic. Uh, right now we do not have any single uh, working um, wind farm in uh, the Polish Sea, which is of course the um, clear uh, clear uh, example of the uh, negligence because uh, that uh, capacities were uh, um, quite uh, important in, uh, for example, the German energy transition or the uh, Danish energy transition. Uh, the other sector that is um, planned to be created in the Polish um, energy transition during the Polish energy transition is the Polish nuclear sector. Right now uh, we do have our uh, third attempt to build our first nuclear power plant, uh, plant and um, 
uh, in the uh, Polish um, energy policy, the um, opening of uh, the, our far first uh, nuclear reactor is planned to happen in the year 2033. Uh, right now, we do not have uh, an, an, even a localization um, that was chosen for the first uh, nuclear uh, power plant. And officially, we may say that uh, it will um, be placed in the, one of the uh, Polish um, coastline um, uh, cities, but uh, this is just an uh, unofficial um, statement. Uh, we do not have uh, the financial model to cover the expenses um, uh, on uh, and that has to be carried on um, on that uh, nuclear project, and we do not have uh, chosen the uh, the uh, technological partner. The problems with the Polish energy transition were noted broadly by the general public in the year 2018. Uh, back then, the main, uh, most important entities um, uh, producing electricity has asked the regulator to uh, rise up the tariffs for the next year um, uh, when it comes to the prices of electricity. And that was a shock for the government because uh, uh, this whole uh, situation that was related to the uh, rise of the prices of um, CO2 uh, emission certificates uh, that were the part of emissions uh, trading scheme brought by the European Union. And this, this rise of prices for electricity for cons consumers in, in Poland uh, uh, was about to happen in the year 2019, which was a double election year in uh, Poland. Poland has uh, had then the elections to the European Parliament in May and the um, elections to the state parliament in uh, October. That was a very important year for the ruling party because it uh, had to um, it, w it was about to decide whether um the uh, peace uh, party, uh, law and justice in English, uh, will be able to um, reach the second term. So uh, the government in Warsaw decided then uh, to uh, impose um, uh, laws uh, on electricity uh, prices and uh, freeze the uh, prices for the consumers um, by um, imposing a compensation, a financial compensation for uh, both um, single users and um, uh, high um, energy consumption entities and uh, these laws um, uh, adapted uh, many times by uh, by the ruling party uh, were uh, some kind of a temporary measure to uh, to handle with the problem of higher electricity price However, the measures imposed by the govern government in, in Poland uh, lasted uh, as long as the election uh, campaigns uh, in the year 2019 and the year 2020 when the presidential elections were uh, held uh, in Poland. And uh, this whole situation has a lot to do with the higher uh, prices of uh, CO2 emission permits uh, that are the part of uh, uh, emission uh, trading, trading scheme in the European Union. And uh, right now, without the measures of compensation, Session, Poland is uh, dealing again with um, higher electricity prices. Um, as the media say, say says, um, uh, the, uh, in the next year, Polish electricity bills may be higher for the single users, uh, even uh, up to 40%. And this is something that creates a lot of problem in the Polish society because it endangers a lot of huge groups of people uh, on um, so-called um, energy poverty. And um, because of the fact that um, Poland has uh, delayed its uh, its uh, energy transition and has a very high emissions uh, on uh, electricity sector, approximately 70, uh, 750 grams of uh, carbon dioxide per one kilowatt hour. Uh, the problem with uh, with uh, the electricity uh, prices will hit the Polish society uh, year by year because the, up in the next uh, several years we will not. Uh, uh, limit our um our energy uh, se uh, sector emissions uh, significantly in the way to lower down the prices of uh, electricity.